Imagine you DM a resort and you get all your queries answered instantly on DM itself from mail, even booking your dates without even single phone call. Sounds crazy, right? So let me show you this. So I have built automation for one of this account over here. And in the bio, you can read, say hi in the DM, get all info and book your stay instantly. So let's message him. Let's send hi. So now as you can see, we are getting a response. Hi, what can I help you with? Room details, rates, dining, booking or anything else at Wanderer Spots. Let me know. So now let's ask which other types of room available. And we can see over here, here are the cottages we offer. Premium escape, cozy retreat, sweet heaven. So different, different types of room which they have, they're telling each and every one. So as you can see, it's answering properly. So let's make a booking over here. So now as you can see, when we ask to make a booking, it is asking me a question. So let's fill the information and ask for the rate. So now as you can see, we got all the rates over here. We can see there is a cottage and there is a weekday price and there is a weekend price over here. So for extra guests as well, they're specifying the price. For adult about 12 years, it's kind of 3000 weekday and weekend 3500. For the kids, it's free. You can see it's answering all the questions properly. So now let's ask more questions. Since I have a pet, so this question is mandatory for me. So is this resort pet friendly? So wonderful. This resort is pet friendly. So they are allowed in a cottage. Please let us know the pet size and breed when you book. Let me know if you would like to reserve it now. So let's reserve it now. I am confirmed with all the details. So let's reserve it now. So now as you can see, when I said yes, they are asking me all the questions. In the full name, I have already mentioned my name. And now they are asking me number of guests. Four adults. Then in the desired resort, I want cozy retreat. It sounds good. Okay. Then check-in would be, let's say, 30th September uh, till Gandhi Jayanti, 2nd October. Then let's send it. So now, as you can see, the booking has been confirmed. So there is some styling issue over here, but that's not a big issue. I made this automation in less than 10 minutes. So for the time and effort, these are the amazing result over here. You can always come back and solve the styling issue. But as you can see, my name has been confirmed, my room. In the room, if you see, the cozy retreat by default allow two to three person, but we have four adults. So they are seeing one extra adult which will be 3000 per night extra. Okay. And dates it is confirmed and the rate they are auto calculating properly. And now at the end, they are asking for the email for the GST invoice, the invoice and reply confirmed to log the conversation. And if you go to the uh, Google sheet, we can see our entry has been made, which says this, this person has done the entry. So I'm using Google sheet for the entry. You can use any different kind of a tool and directly link it over here. So this sounds interesting, right? It's not just for the resort. It could be for the fitness trainer. It could be for the coaches. Any niche can use this DM automation. So I hope you are excited to learn this automation. This will change how you do the business and how you grow your business. And if you don't have the business, learning this automation and selling this automation to the businesses and saving them time will give you a lot and lots of money. So my name is Lakshit and I am on the mission to help millions of people learn AI automation and how to grow their businesses with AI automation. So let's get started. We need to connect our Instagram account so that we can receive the DM which we are receiving from the user. So for that, we'll be using a meta approved tool called as Taste DM. This tool will help you to supercharge your Instagram DM instantly. So you don't have to go and do the meta verification. This is already done for you. So just come over here, tastedm.com and go to sign up and then you will end into this page. Just write your full name, the email ID, password and confirm password. And once you have done this thing, then do the sign in. So let me enter my account. So let's do the sign in. So once you have done the sign in, you will be landed in this page. Now we have to connect our Instagram account. So I have already done it, but let me disconnect it and let's connect again. So this has a very good feature over here. So you can connect Instagram in a two way. First way is that directly you can click on this button and your Instagram account will be connected. And second way is that if you want to use another person Instagram account and they don't want to give their credentials, you can just send this QR code to them. They will scan this QR code and log in into their mobile phone and the account will be automatically connected. So no sharing of credentials. Your account is secured over here. So for this demo purpose, I'll be using this current Instagram. I click on this. So now as you can see, Instagram is asking me to connect the account to this DM. So I'll allow it and now it is connected properly. So within seconds, you will connect your Instagram account. So now once your Instagram account is connected, now it's time to create the automation. So now in the left hand side, you can see there's automation. Now we need to create the automation. So we'll come over here and click on create automation. And now we need to give a very meaningful name over here. It can be anything, but give a meaningful name so that you remember properly. So I'll write DM automation since we're doing the DM automations. Okay, we'll click on the next button. So now this tool don't only do the DM automation. Now you might have seen the post where users say comment some kind of a word and you will get the information in the DM. So this tool allows that also. So now in the post comment, if you say comment agent, so if whenever you type an agent in the comment box, you will get the information, whatever user has asked for in the DM. That thing can also be done over here. Second trigger is kind of regarding the story reply. So whenever any user 
message or reply to the story it could be any specific keyword or normal message you can reply automatically and the use case which we are going to develop is kind of a user direct message so let's click on this and now we have selected a trigger now it is also asking me that do i want to reply to each and every questions user ask for or only specific keyword so in our case we want each and every message so we'll use all keyword but if you want any particular keyword you can click on this and you can write any keyword let's say agent and only this keyword whenever user write then only will reply it but in our case we want all direct message so we'll click on this and we'll go on next and now once we have selected the trigger okay so trigger is something which starts the workflow so in our case the trigger is whenever user messages us so now once the user is messages us now we want to reply to the user right so for that we need the action so now if i click on action so we have three things over here the first is to ask to follow this is an amazing feature over here if you don't want to reply to user if they are not following you you make sure that they follow you so for that you can use this action over here ask to follow so whenever you enable this action over here so what this action will do it will prompt again and again are you following me or not if they don't follow you they will ask you to follow again 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 this will be in a loop part over here once they are done following you this message will be gone and you can send your material whatever you want okay in that case we don't want this thing right now but the main feature we want is direct reply to direct message as you can see there are two parts over here reply to direct message and reply to direct message webhook so this reply to direct message is just a normal message which will be sent one single message and you are good to go but we want a conversation to make right so for that we'll be using this reply to direct message webhook okay if you want another video explaining all the other actions comment down please jam in the comment box so i'll make another video okay so in this video we'll be using reply to direct message webhook so now over here you can see we have to enter the webhook point over here and in the payload we'll be receiving this information whatever message we are getting from the user and the sender id in the expected response you will get such kind of a response one thing to note over here is that instagram allow only 1000 character of message to be sent so that's a good thing that psdm is giving all the uh, message over here so you don't have to scratch your mind and see why it is not working so now from where do we get this webhook and what the heck is webhook over here so webhook is nothing it's like an address so for example now since we want to get a response we want an ai agent over here so for that we'll be using n8n so what is n8n n8n is a low code ai workflow automation tool it allows you to create a very powerful ai automation workflow which can do anything like if i say anything anything for you okay i'll be showing you an example don't worry about that so i'll go to this gm now it's time for the part 2 of this video which is setting up the n8n so now you can come to this website n8n.io you can do the sign in from here or you can use the link from my description it is an affiliate link you won't get any charge but it will help me to grow as a creator so once you are done the sign in you will be looking somewhat page like this okay so now it's time to create a workflow so for that we'll come over here and click on create a workflow and this is the blank page which we'll be seeing so don't get confused by all this thing i will break down everything so let's click on first step and we need webhook so if you notice there is a lightning symbol over here so this is called as a trigger so trigger is nothing but it's the first execution which happens to start the workflow over here so in our case webhook is the trigger so if you click on the webhook you can see there is a url this is the url we are looking for so we will be using this production url let me click on production url copy this url and go to tsdm and paste the url over here okay once we have the url and we'll click on the next button so now you can review what you have selected till now so we have selected as a trigger user direct message all direct message we want reply to dm webhook and we have a webhook link over here in the payload we require a post request so in http method instead of get we'll be using a post method over here okay and in the respond we want the uh, respond to webhook node because we want to get generate the answer and then we want to respond if you would have said it immediate it would have replied immediately but there is nothing to reply so now once we are done with this thing let's make it active let's not add anything let's make this uh, workflow is active so now as you can see it is active so now in the tsdm you know which account you have connected with now let's go to instagram and send some message let's write hey and now let's go to anten open the execution tab inside the execution we can see the message has been came it's error don't worry about this thing but if you click on this we can see there is a no information over here but the message has came that's the main thing over here but to make it run properly let's do one thing let's go to editor click on plus icon add respond we want this respond to webhook part over here and let's select it as a json part and let's keep the value as the same as it is and let's save it now let's go to instagram again send hey let's come back to anten click on execution we can see succeed if i click on that inside webhook part we can see we are getting the message and the sender id over here this is what the same thing tsdm has told us we'll be getting so if you see over here tsdm was telling us we'll be getting a message and sender id and that's what the same thing we are getting over here 
okay so that's great this sender id is nothing but it's a unique id of each and every user now we have this all information let's copy the editor and now it is pin so as you can see now it is pin pin means we don't have to run again and again we are getting the information once so we can use for the experiment and generate the more content so now we want to generate the ai answer over here so let's click on the plus icon and let's search for ai agent so this ai agent node is the brain of whatever we are getting answer in the instagram so now let's configure this brain how so for this brain to answer properly we need a chat model so for chat model we'll be using open router so if you don't know what is open router so open router is nothing but it's an aggregator of all the llm model out there be it chat gpt be it grog uh, cloud any model is there open router has got it okay so instead of paying api key for each and every provider out there we just pay for the one provider which is open router and you can use any model so if i click open router and if i see over here there are all the models over here so we can see chat gpt model we can see perplexity model we can see gwen model all the model out there so but for our case we'll be using gpt oss 120b which is very cheap and very good over here okay so once we are in the setup and now we need the memory why we need the memory because when the user send hey and we get a response and then they ask us some kind of a question and we got the response we need to remember what the user was asking us earlier so for that thing we need a memory over here we'll be using a simple memory but it can go advanced but not for this use case so now instead of connected chat trigger we'll be using defend below and we need to give one unique key for each and every user okay because if multiple user are asking the questions we want to identify what was the earlier message they had done for that particular user so for that we need a unique id and glad that we have got the unique id page gms send the unique id okay so we have a sender id how to write the sender id over here it's a very simple thing we write the curly braces over here then dollar json dot body dot sender id okay and now once we have get this thing we need to uh, windows length is 10 it means that past 10 conversation it will remember okay so now inside the a agent we need the user message so for that thing we have a body over here we have a message we'll drag and drop it over here so we'll be get the user message so now the main thing will come over here for each and every resort for each and every fitness client for each and every coach we need their information to answer the questions properly so for that we can add a system message over here so i have written the system message so let me paste it over here so you can see how properly defined it is you are saying that you are a wanderer sports friendly virtual assistant for instagram dm we have specifying the core rules it should follow general information it should have cottage and capacity we are giving information dining information is there rate information is there booking and cancellation information is there then general faqs which user can ask all the information is there over here and final rules we are also telling that all the response must be less than 800 characters so that it doesn't break the rule of instagram so how detailed the prompt it is over here so you can write your own customized prompt over here but for my use case i am using this prompt okay once you have this prompt now it's time to ask for the booking information as well so for the booking information we need to store that booking information inside the excel sheet so for that we'll come to the tool we'll click on the sheet part over here and we need to connect the uh, google account over here if you don't know how to connect the google account i have made a dedicated video for that you can watch that video in the i button once you have connected to the google account now in the document we'll select the document i have a research inquiry which has this four column name number of person room type date more column if you want you can add the more column it's up to you but for my use case and for this demo purpose i use this four column once you have this four column we have selected that sheet and now there's a sheet one over here we don't want to operation and get uh, operation we want to add the entry so for that in the operation we'll be using append row and now we want all this information but we don't know the information what to add over here so let a agent handle that so for that we'll click on this link so as you can see it's written let the model define its parameter we want all this information to be filled by ai so once we have that we are good to go now let's save it and now let's come to the respond webhook and now we want to pass the information if you remember this demo is telling that they expect response in the message format over here so we'll come to n10 and instead of my field we'll be passing message let's generate the output so let's come over here and execute this step and now as you can see we are getting the response over here so we'll be using this response instead of value let's drag and drop this output over here so we can see we are getting the uh, response over here and let's execute the step so they are saying it is an invalid json body so for that we need to do the handling why it is coming invalid if i open it bigger now as you can see there is slash n over here and json doesn't allow that thing so we need to replace normal slash n with double slash n so that it can be passed properly so for that write just this code over here and we are good to go what does this line do what is this doing sometime inside this code the double quotation is also coming that is also not allowed so we are replacing double quotation with the single quotation over here and we are replacing normal slash n with a double slash n 
don't worry i'll be sharing all this thing all the code all the template all the system prompt and everything i'll be sharing at the end of the video okay so once we have that thing let's execute the step so it's working properly now let's do one thing let's save it and now let's go to the instagram again and let's write here and now as you can see we are getting the response perfect over here but there's a one catch over here we are saying there's a double curly braces over here let's go and debug it and now if we see we are passing this extra over here let's remove this part let's save it let's go to instagram let's say here and now as you can see everything is working perfectly fine over here so hey welcome to wonder sports how can i assist you today rooms meal rate booking steps or any policy question just let me know so it's working perfectly fine. So let's do the booking. So we're asking to make a booking over here. So as you can see, we're asking for the name, number of guests, preferred room type, check-in and check-out date. If you go to uh, n and and if you go to execution, inside execution, we can see it has gone through all these steps. It, it has came over here. It went through AI agent. It went through the open router, simple memory and respond to the web part over here. So you can come over here. You can debug it, but it's not working properly. You can check it everything over here. And in page DM, once you're done the setup, you are good to go. And I want to reveal a secret over here. This page DM is owned by me. I am the founder of this page DM and I have created this platform. So currently it's free of cost. If you go to the landing page, you can see it is telling get started free. No credit card required, no information required. Unlimited access. This will be for the limited time for the initial users. You can use this for free. You don't have to do any kind of a business verification, no meta verification, nothing is required. I have already done the heavy lifting for you. Go and use this and let me know your feedback. You can contact me on this email ID. You can spam me in my school community, in my Instagram account, everywhere. So let me know your thought. Let me know how is this video. And if you want to know more actions of TSDM, let me know in the comment box by typing TSDM. I hope you liked the video. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.